Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Sample Tank 2 for the iPad, the new updated version. And in particular we're going to take a look at how to set up layering, um, multis and splits. Okay, so first of all you're presented with this, you want to go here. Okay, and this is where you can set up your multis. So first of all we want to go to this one here. And we're going to set up a new multi. And we're going to call it uh testing testing uh not dot testing <laughs> we're just going to call it testing testing okay and it will build a new multi and it will set up a blank page for us right so first of all um we want to i'm going to select an instrument here so we can go back to our libraries we'll go to sample tank 2 air pro we'll select electric piano we'll select this one so this will and there it is and it'll load up um, all over so you can see that the number one is highlighted red and it loads up all the way across the keyboard <laughs> now uh, we have several options here we can view the instruments page or we can view the uh, actual like little mixer so it gives us volume and pan for the instrument so we go to the instrument this little uh, icon here just switches between the uh, arpeggiator which will trigger sample tanks sort of loops and patterns as long as latch and enable is switched on i don't want the latch and enable switched on because i want to be able to play the keyboard over the whole range and not have sample tank trigger its own loops and patterns okay so that's just a tip for you guys secondly we're going to select another instrument so we'll select a pad of some description to go underneath the roads so let's just tap here to browse go there and we'll go so oh, we'll have some strings maybe some oh yeah that might be nice now you won't hear it straight away because we need to set our midi channels for the, the same okay so we need to set that to the middle one very nice sounds nice so we, now we've got a mixture of roads and harp over the full range of the keyboard cool beans Okay, so what we're going to do is, which I quite like as well, but I'm going to reduce the volume of the harp a little bit, I think. Now, if I switch both of these off, I can get access to the controls. Now, you may hear, here now, that I'm not hearing the split. Sample Tank's internal keyboard will not allow you to play the multis, like the layers and splits and stuff like that you'll only hear the sound that's selected maybe that's because you might want to make adjustments to the sound which makes it quite useful maybe we want to control the volume that way or the pan that way or the cut off anyway that's the thing but you need a midi keyboard plugged in to hear both sounds okay so so that's quite nice so so that'll do for that so next one so now let's say we want some bass so let's select three tap to browse let's go back let's go back let's go to our bass maybe some vintage bass select channel one because we want to hear it but yeah it's quite nice but we don't want our bass to play uh, we don't want our bass to play the full range so what we need to do is ho ho hold our highlighted make sure you select your high what the one you want to play with hold down it at the end then you will see um it will you see that little thing come in there and we just want to take that down to the range I'm holding the wrong one that's why I'm not hearing any difference dog you idiot I'm gonna say Let me just let me just fix this this one this is the one that's better now 
So there you go. So now I've only got the bass in the bass end. So I get I get this effect. Now you might think at this point, oh yeah, that's nice. I like the bass down there, but the bass is a little bit too bassy for the range it's in. So what we can do is make sure bass is selected and transpose. Now transpose is dead useful here because you might have a lead sound up at the top end of the keyboard that's really too high. And the transpose and sample tank gives you two octaves above or two octaves below, so that's nice. So if I take this bass up just to plus 12. So I've got one octave above, that's better. Blah, blah 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 so there you go so now we have three sounds and we've seen how we can do a split what we want to do is now we just hit hit this little like sort of import button and it saves the multi right so next what we can do is we can carry on building up but this will go on forever and ever and you know you it would be boring but you get the idea that's is how you make your adjustments to the sound range so, for instance, you could just have it on one note, for instance, or you could set an effect up just to have it play right at the top. Bearing in mind, you can control it with the transpose, so you can go up and down, plus or minus two octaves. So it gives you a four octaves range. So you're pretty much going to get into a range you want. Okay, so that's that's good. Right, now, next. If we want to, uh, we can kind of like, say, for instance, you'd set up a gig and you just, you, you've you got like eight song, eight tracks and a sound. If you just tap the actual box, that will go. So all I will hear now is my roads. And say, for instance, one of the songs was just, or part of the song just wanted to use the harp. Of course, you could save the, the multi will remember it, it will remember the grayed out. So if it was a song that started with just the harp, once you brought that back in, and then you can add back in your and then add back in your. So guys, there you go, there's multis. How to set up multis, layering and splits. Important things to remember are that you can, your useful view here would be the uh, symphonic harp over there, if you're listening through headphones. And then having the piano split over there. So you can set up your panning and your basic uh, things here. If you don't want to see the split layer and you need uh, you need uh, actual key a keyboard control, just switch off the that'll be down there, will it? Just switch off the uh, the two views here, and you can select the instrument you want to adjust without having remember that you can't play the multis with the with the with the keyboard there so that's how you do that so and then remember that you can switch stuff on and off i think i've covered basically everything there so that's yeah that's your that's your kind of much this is your midi lane uh so that's your your two multi setup and uh i set up another couple i've set up one called vocal flute lead and you can see that i had that one grayed out just bass down the bottom here you can see sorry, you can see the bass sound is phasing upright sound which is just from C2 to C4 and then so different ones what else did I set up here um so like two which was a which is another one. So there you go, guys. There it is Sample Tanks too. how to layer multis and splits. Very useful, very cool. Just remember that you need to, most importantly, if you want to play it via one MIDI keyboard, that you need to set your channel to the same channel. That's really, really, really important. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, like it, please subscribe to the channel. And if you can possibly, possibly become a Patreon, a patron with the Patreon uh, site on the sound test stream you can do this it'll cost you a dollar 
one dollar a month and you can opt that anytime you want because like, you can pay more if you like but one dollar is great and it really does help to support me you know the more people are doing it it's easier for me to, to do this you know uh, okay guys anyway brilliant i'll see you guys later sample tank layering splits cool beans